The eight count boxing hour is on the air. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks, and let's get ready to rumble. We've got Socorro, New Mexico's Anthony El Leon Ion taking on Cardell, Quicksilver Fox. He's tall and rangy, and let's see what El Leon can do with him. But first, let's go to some footage from the weigh-in. Mr. Leon weighing in at? <laughs> And now we're going to talk to uh, Anthony El Leon Ayon, and he's from Socorro, New Mexico. Uh, thank you for joining us, Anthony. And, and you're getting ready to step into the ring with uh, this uh, Cardell Fox. Uh, from, is he from Denver, Colorado? Yeah, he's from Denver, Colorado. Okay, and uh, you feel ready to go with this guy? I feel ready. I feel good. Been training good? Been training hard. Okay. Been trying to get it going. Right. Last time we saw you fight here in Albuquerque, and you fought uh, Arturo Molina, and uh, that Molina looked like he was really ready to rumble, but but you were able to to. Yeah, he had he had a hard body blow. He was really hitting me good in the body. Yeah, he was really. He got the he, body punches. That's right, but you but you overcame that and looked like you landed a few of your own on that guy. Yeah, I think the the first round came out a knockdown, eight standing eight count knockdown. That's what helped me out. Right. Well, that was a real good fight, exciting, and I think that's what helped to get you back onto the next card. Now, the fans want to see you in action again. You're a good action fighter. Can we yeah. expect to see that again? Oh, yeah, you'll, see, you'll definitely see that again tonight. It'll be real good. As Michael Buffer says, you ready to rumble? Ready to rumble. All right. Ready to do it. All right. Now, your record's two and two at the two time? And two and two. Okay. Two win, two loss. Okay, Anthony, and uh, uh, what kind of amateur background did you have? I had no amateur. Is you know, that right? Strictly pro. The wow. only amateur I had was a tough man competition that came. Oh, came yeah. to Albuquerque. The first first time it came out, that was the only. Yeah, so you just laced him up and yeah. climbed in as a pro. And well, I liked it. After the tough man, I kind of like boxing, so I figured I'd try it and see what happens. I love it, so I'm ready to do it again. Wow, on the job training. On the job training. Wow, you're really, you're really progressing good, Anthony, and uh, we wish you the best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you. And is there anything you want to say to the people of Albuquerque? No, thank you for the support. Okay, hope we be there to watch me fight and hope I do good. There we go. We hope to see you in, in the future too, Anthony. Thanks for joining us. Okay, it's Anthony and I own. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second fight of the evening. The referee for this bout is Mr. L. Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the fighters. Fighting out of the blue corner, out of Tucson, Arizona, weighing in at 156 pounds, Cardell Quicksilver Fox. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, weighing in at 158, three quarter pounds, fighting out of Socorro, Nuevo Mexico, Antonio, Elion Ayon! So here we go with our opening bout tonight here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Uh, representing New Mexico is the young man in the white trim. That's Anthony El Leon Ayon. He's trained by Roy Griego, and he, and he trains here in, uh, in Albuquerque. He's a good, hard-working young man. You, as you met him there in the opening, did not have an amateur background, and now he steps in as a pro to take on Tucson, Arizona's, by way of Denver, Colorado, Cardell Quicksilver Fox. And Cardell Fox, as you can see right now, has a definite height and reach advantage. He's very rangy. He has the long arms. There's a good little left hand from Fox. So uh, Ione's going to have to find a way to work around it. And right now, Ione runs into a combination from Cardell Fox. And there's a good right hand from Fox. So Cardell Fox showing fo fast hands and uh, all the physical attributes that can bring him a victory here against uh, Socorro, New Mexico's Anthony Ione. Boxing coming to you from here at Roller West in the South Valley of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Prime Productions putting on shows regularly and uh, they've been gracious to allow the eight count boxing hour to bring our camera here 
and uh, and bring the footage of these great fights to you folks. But there's nothing like these fights in, in person. You can't beat them live. They're so much more fun. But we do what we can to bring the action to you. And right now it's Anthony Ione like a bull trying to bull his way in against the very rangy Quicksilver Cardell Fox. Ione trying to time his jab to get it in there. He's going to have to reach out. He doesn't want to leave himself open reaching in. Oh, it tries a big right hand. Ione relying on the power that he, he was very successful as a tough man in a tough man competition. Never f had any formal training as an amateur boxer, but was very successful as a tough man. And he said he liked it and he has been successful. Coming out with a record, starting off with a record of two and two as a pro. And now maybe taking a little bit of a step up here against a pretty, pretty dangerous Cardell Fox. Fox continual, continuing to stick out that jab. He's a southpaw, so he's leading with that right hand. And that's another problem presented for Anthony Ione. Oh, a little right hand sneaks in from Ione, the overhand right. Looks like Anthony Ione's game plan would have to be to uh, uh, aggression, pure aggression, get right through the defenses of uh, Cardell Fox. Oh, Fox tries a big right hand, kind of an uppercut. Cardell Fox now doing some good work so far in this bout. There's a good left hand from Fox. And another left hand, Ione tries to counter with a right, coming over the top. But right now, Cardell Fox using his feet, using his movement. Anthony Ione is the aggressor in this match. Cardell Fox, now you see him tying up. The referee for this bout is Al Martinez. And there's the bell to end the first round. Pretty even round, it can go either way. We're looking into the corner now of uh, El Leon, Anthony Ione. His trainer, Roy Griego, giving him instructions. Boxing being brought to you from Roller West. And now we look into the corner of Tucson, Arizona's Cardell Fox. His trainer, George Crawford, giving him instructions. Pretty good round, close round. Fox a little more stylish, and Ione definitely more aggressive. Perhaps Fox landing more punches, but Ione landing the heavier shots. This is pro boxing, and you do reward the power, unlike the amateurs. So a uh, tough round to score for the judges. So the seconds go out of the ring. We're about ready to start uh, round two. This bout is scheduled for four rounds. We're in the middleweight division. Both men having no problem coming into this bout under the weight limit. Cardell Fox coming in at 156, and Anthony Ione tipped the scales at 158 and three quarters. And now Anthony Ione coming out a little bit more active. Cardell Fox staying outside of that power. Maybe a slight edge in power going to Ione. Not much, but he looks a little bit the stronger of the two, but Fox definitely with the faster hands and that long jab, that long reach. And now Ione gets tagged and he goes down. Anthony Ione went down and looked like his feet kind of slipped. Yeah. Okay, the referee rules it as a slip. That is not a knockdown. Uh, he, he took a shot to the head, but his feet slipped a little bit, and that's what caused him to go down. The referee does not rule that as a knockdown. And now Ione comes out in a rage, maybe feeling that he might have been, ha, might, may have had a knockdown ruled against him. So after an even round, Cardell Fox comes out and puts Ione to the canvas, not ruled as a knockdown. However, it has to stick in the minds of the judges here. And Fox now trying that weak little right hand. Ione trying to fake him out. That's a good way to open him up, try to land some of those big shots. Now Cardell Fox shoots that jab out, tries to follow it with the right hand. 
Oh, there's a good little right hand from Cardell Fox. Fox doing some good work in this round here, starting to box up on his toes. Moves out to his right. There's a good right hand from Anthony Ion. And now Ion chases him and runs into a right. Ion was caught up in the ropes there. Cardell Fox slipped out. Ooh, a sweeping right hand misses from Anthony Ion, or left hand, excuse me. And both men mixing it up now in the center of the ring. Starting to get a little bit wilder, and that's to the advantage of uh, Socorro, New Mexico's Anthony Ion. It looks like Anthony Ion should start going to the body a little more. There's a good right hand right at the bell. So uh, a pretty, pretty good round for both men. I, I give the slight edge to uh, Cardell Fox. And we have a good match on our hands here. This is a very even match. So we get ready to start round number three. We're, this is the halfway mark. This fight very well could depend on these last two rounds. Looked like a pretty even round that first round. Second round, I would have to give a slight edge to Cardell Fox. So we might have him a slightly ahead, but the two rounds were pretty close and, and could go either way. So uh, again, it's up to the judges, the way they see it from where they sit. The bell rings for round number three now, round three of four. Cardell Fox in the black trunks with the red trim and Anthony Ione in the black trunks with the white trim. And Ione now comes out smoking, looking like a little Joe Frazier, getting down low and throwing bombs. Cardell Fox ties him up. Referee Al Martinez separates the two. Very, very good matchup. Uh, the matchmaker has to get a pat on the back for this one. These two men are evenly matched. And uh, as far as safety goes in boxing, there's nothing like a good match. An even match is one of the best safety factors you can have. And of course, the crowd enjoys it much more too. Oh, Fox tries to throw a jab and Ione answers with a right hand. Anthony Ione opening up a little bit here in the third round. The former tough man from Socorro, New Mexico. And now Ione goes on the attack. Backing Cardell Fox up. Fox wobbles a little bit. He got nailed right there. So Anthony Ione swinging away now. Again, a left hand off the break. Cardell Fox tries to tie him up and Ione just throws that left hand out there. Lefts and rights. Anthony Ione using both hands effectively. And again, Anthony Ione lands a little left hand right on the chin of Cardell Fox. And again, a right hand now from Ione. Fox looks like he's slowing down a little bit, starting to wear down. Anthony Ione's uh, aggressive attack is starting to pay dividends here. It's been a good round for Socorro's Anthony Ione. And I, I have him pulling even now. If he can continue this pace, he could pull this fight out. Cardell Fox off to a quick start. His nickname is Quicksilver. And Anthony Ione, like the tortoise and the hare now, starting to catch up with the tiring Fox. Again, Cardell Fox trying to land that right hand, but coming up short. And Ione rocks Fox with a good right hand. And an uppercut inside now. Ione starting to work. Fox pushing Ione back on the ropes. But Anthony Ione continuing to throw shots. He's not retreating, even when he's backing up. He's throwing punches. There's a good left hand from Ione and a right. Good left-right combination. Again, Ione with a right hand. 
Fox ducking his head and bowling forward, trying to stop Ione from landing those shots. A good scoring round for Anthony Ione. El Leon. Oh, a little right hand just grazing at the bell. Good round, good round for Anthony Ione. I have to give him that one. So Anthony Ione coming back in the third round with some good aggression, doing some good scoring here. And uh, now Cardell Fox has his hands full. Cardell Fox with the big height and re reach advantage. And it was serving him well in the early rounds, but here in the third, starting to slow down now, and Anthony Ione taking advantage of it, getting inside with his powerful shots. And there you see George Crawford spraying a little water on Cardell Fox, trying to get him refreshed and woken up. This fourth round is going to be crucial in the scoring of this bout. Anthony Ione has been a real crowd favorite here at Roller West. Um, his last fight, he scored a very exciting decision over Arturo Molina of uh, Mexico. And uh, he's sort of becoming a, a crowd favorite here at Roller West. So the bell rings for round four, the final round. Three minutes to go to, to decide the winner of this exciting bout. Anthony El Leon Ione in the black trunks with a white trim. And his opponent out of Tucson, Arizona by way of Denver, Colorado is Cardell Fox, who you see bending over right now, taking body shots. Anthony Ione going to work on Fox, pins him into the corner and hammers him against the ropes. Fox needs to get out of there. And referee Al Martinez separates them as Fox ties him up. Anthony Ione coming out fast here in this fourth and, and final round. It could be the deciding round. It's been a cl close bout throughout. And neither fighter can take chances here. They need to win this round right here. Again, we'd like to thank Prime Productions, Sal and Rudy Guzman, and Felix Tenorio. They are the promoters that put on these fine shows here at Roller West, and the boxing fans of Albuquerque salute you guys. You've done a great job. And as you can see right here, we got a good one going. Cardell Fox and Anthony Ione. And now Ione continuing to th throw those uppercuts. And a, little, a big left hand comes up a little bit short. But Cardell Fox coming up short on the offensive, really not doing much scoring. He looks like he's really run out of gas here in the fourth round. And Anthony Ione has slowed down, but he's still, he's still throwing the shots and scoring. There's a left hand from Ione. Anthony Ione showing a lot of heart here. Could be pulling this bout out here in this fourth and final round, unless Cardell Fox can come up with a big shot. Boy, Cardell Fox has really slowed down in this fourth round compared to the first and second rounds when he was up on his toes, dancing, circling, sticking that jab out. Now he's tiring out and, and starting to look a little sloppy. Of course, the body attack, the aggressive big shots landed by Anthony Ione, taking a lot out of Fox, and now he takes two shots to the head. Ione continuing to land combinations on Cardell Fox. And both men very tired in the very center of the ring. And now Ione taking some shots from Cardell Fox. Fox started, starts to open up, and then Ione answers back with his own right. So Anthony Ione on the attack now. Being aggressive, staying aggressive, keeping Cardell Fox off balance. Now Fox comes back with a, a series of punches at the bell. Cardell Fox maybe a little bit too little too late. But this one will go into the hands of the three judges. And uh, right here, the eight-count boxing hour likes the efforts of Anthony Ione to win this one. But as I said before, it will be up to the, th to the three judges. And uh, whew, it was a close fight. Uh, Cardell Fox starting off fast and Anthony Ione coming back strong at the end. And there you see Anthony Ione very tired. But he put on a good effort. The crowd loves it. Come on, let me know. 
And there you see him and Cardell Fox now hugging each other, good sportsmanship. They both know that the other man may have won this fight. Let's listen to the ring announcer a little, little bit here. Thank you all. This is what they're trying to bring you. We hope that you appreciate it. What do you think, Albuquerque? Is it good enough for you all? We'd also like to thank at this time, ladies and gentlemen, the New Mexico Athletic Commission, Mr. Jim Boggio and all his staff, who have done us just a terrific job. So if y'all would please join us in a big round of applause, Mr. Boggio and his whole staff, please. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up Saturday night at the Fight Kickboxing, May 15th, right here in Roller West, 7 p.m., nine free fights and two title belts. The main event is five rounds. Come join us as we bring to you Marcos Rodriguez. So we await the decision of the judges here. It's taken a little bit of time, so it must be a very close decision. The commissioners are making sure that they add everything up right. And I've got a feeling we're in for a close decision here. Ring announcer Leroy Mora now looks just about ready to give us the results of this fight. May we have the finest to the center of the ring, please. We have, ladies and gentlemen, a unanimous decision. The judges score it 38-37, 38-38, and 39-38 for the winner, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Aaron. So Socorro, New Mexico's Anthony Ion pulls out a close decision over Quicksilver Cardell Fox. A very good match. Congratulations, Anthony Ion.